Hello, and welcome back to the 2002 version of The Twilight Zone, in which we are watching The Cradle of Darkness. This is about time travel and the unintended consequences of such, and it stars Catherine Hegel, uh, who we of course seen in Grey's Anatomy. Now, the first thing she does as she enters the past is to dump a bunch of money in the lap of a beggar. The implications of this is, of course, that she isn't very well trained when it comes to time travel, because that would have the potential to have very startling effects. Uh, it could spiral out of control very quickly if she interferes in all these lives. She should probably have gone in for a very different approach if you wanted to make as small of an impact on the timeline as possible. Uh, Herr Hitler is played by James Remar, who was also in Grey's Anatomy and also starred in Jericho. And if you haven't seen the show Jericho, you really, really should. Uh, Lady Hitler uh, is sitting and is pretty, pretty darn invisible in this shot uh, until she starts moving. It's, uh, it's nice. Uh, I, I like how she's so unobtrusive that way. The uh, black ribbons on the picture picture frames on the wall are not uncommon. Uh, they were a thing. You would have family portraits with that sort of thing. You'd also have um, family portraits with actually dead children still being portrayed in the family portrait. Uh, although that was a bit earlier before photography and such. Black ribbons have sort of gone out of style, and certainly you don't see them this way anymore. She makes uh, use of the idiom, uh, you hoping that lightning will strike twice, and uh, the, the maid doesn't get it. I, I wonder how English that idiom actually is, and how it doesn't translate well into German. The baby Hitler is wearing blue, uh, and I'm not sure that he would. At this time, blue wasn't a masculine color as such. Pink was more of a thing. So I'm not entirely sure that he would be wearing blue. He might be wearing pink. They are looking at this fantastic vista. That isn't there. It's just something that they, that they back predicted, but they did a really good job of it. And you can see the ripples in the water and the smoke and stuff, but I don't think it's an actual shot because of the light. On it, uh, it could be, but if it's not, then it's really, really well done. Um, the older Herr Hitler is is very much ahead of his time. I don't think that the views he's espousing were particularly well founded uh, at the turn of the century. They are a bit later, uh, especially coming off of the pre-First World War and the era directly afterwards. Also, I can find no mention of the older Al 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 Alosi uh, ha having held those views. He was he was an asshole for sure, but uh, I d cannot find any mentions of him being that. She jumps in the water and there are no rings on the water. Bit of a mistake. I would have been easy enough to do. And uh, she then gets away with the switch with the, the father just sort of raising an eyebrow and then just ignoring. I don't think that would be the case. If you would handed the wrong baby as a parent, you wouldn't just go, oh, that's weird. You would immediately go, what's this? Uh, you would react and he just plays it off. Um, there is there is something about Hitler's genetic inheritance. Um, his history seems a bit weird. There are... There's contemporary research that points to him actually having uh, Jewish ancestry or similar. And uh, I mean, as, as far as this is concerned, it wouldn't work because it's too much of a divergence. It doesn't actually tie into that. But it is an interesting, it's an interesting take on it. Uh, and of course, it ends with, with Forrest in the shot himself and just espousing what dark things happens on the timeline and that some things are fixed and will never change. And next week we are talking about a life that was never had and I look forward to seeing you then. Take care now.